have been so obsessed with these miniature food mystery boxes craft kits. Yes, this is a whole craft kit. For those of you who don't know, Miniverse Make It Mini Food Mystery Boxes, they are miniature foods that you have to put together based on a specific theme. So in a previous video, we got a kit to make an avocado toast, and then the next kit, we had to make some kind of marshmallow chocolate parfait. And the packaging for these is I'm so cute, I wanna mmm, mm, but because it's adorable. It's like when I see you greens, I wanna grab your faces and go and smush it because you're adorable, okay? Don't, it, don't argue with me. Come closer. Come here. Repeat after me. I'm adorable. Just say it. I mean it. And these mystery boxes have 18 different recipes. Today we're going to attempt getting through four of these mystery boxes. Hopefully we don't get any kind of doubles. And this one is called the Series 1 Diner. There's also a Series 2 Cafe, which I was able to get my hand on, so keep an eye out for that video coming up soon. And the neat thing is we do use resin. For those of you who don't know resin, it is a glassy type plastic when it's hardened, so it looks a little bit more realistic and liquidy whenever you want it to be. Let me know in the comment section below, have you tried any kind of mystery boxes crafts? And I'm not talking about subscription boxes, because this is the first one and I'm super hyped about it. Oh, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications because then you become a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Now the concept behind these is that we're supposed to let it harden in the sunlight, but we are Canadian winter. Which means no summer. I mean no winter. I mean, oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> no sunlight is what I'm trying to- No sunlight. Canadian winters equals no sun. So we'll be making our lives easier by using a UV light. Easy, easy fix. Let's see what we get inside. But first, let's just move some of these to the side. There. And let's see if we have better luck opening these more satisfyingly, because they're not necessarily the best at being open. Ready? Okay. Uh-huh. I think I'm getting the hang of it. These things have so many layers. It's not just me, it's tape and then paper and then paper and then more things. And here's our first box. So we do get plenty of little baggies. And that's what I love about this is that it's, it's still a lot of pamphlets. We have pamphlet, 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 pamphlet. <laughs> But what I like is that it is one of the cooler type of mystery boxes that are also crafting. Is it cheap? No, absolutely not. $10 each. You can definitely get all of these much cheaper, but look at all this. It's the experience. Oh no, I think this is gonna be a double, but let's double check. Double check for the double. Okay, let's open this one. It says, have a sunny day. We get, oh, we get crumble. Now this doesn't necessarily mean it's a double because we do have different kinds of desserts with crumble. So let's keep going. If you do want to watch the previous video, I will link it down below because we did get something with crumble and marshmallows. So let's keep an eye open on that. Next item here is, I love the packaging. We have, oh no, I think it is a double. Oh no. See, that's the danger of spending $10 on a mystery box. You could have wasted $20. Oh. I'm free. It went flying. And you are chocolate. Oh no. Oh no, this is not a good start. This is not a good start to the video. We're still gonna go through all four boxes and hope that we don't get too many doubles. And this is, aha, uh -huh, chocolate cream. Wait, what? I don't remember getting a nozzle last time. Okay. And this is going to likely be a jar. The answer is yes, it is a jar. And we should get a spoon in here, right? Yes. A miniature spoon. And in case you're wondering what we're supposed to be making, it's basically this here, a s'mores parfait. But we will not be making it in this video. Instead, go ahead and watch the previous one. But look how cute all these items are. All right, next. Attempt number two. Let's hope that this is not another double. Please, I don't want to have wasted so much money. Be different. Be different. Here's our packages and our pamphlets. Get the, all the pamphlets and more. Pa no, no, no. See, this worries me. We we had this in the previous one. Do not, do not, do not. Don't. No. We can't start this video this way. We can't. No. Oh gosh. Please no. By the way, this here. For those of you who didn't see the previous video, this is a stand where you can display your food, which is really cute because it does fit on the inside of this. 
Sometimes, there you go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And yeah, you could display your food, but for some reason, they're not consistent. I was very hyped about this, but I'm starting to get salty. But first, let's see if it's a double. I mean a triple. Okay, I don't think it's a triple. I feel this is a bowl. But let's start with other stuff. Let's start with that one. Oh, what is that? Okay, let's open you. Okay. Um, actually, now I'm starting to worry. Is it, is it the avocado thing again? There's 18 different ones! I'm really glad my salt shaker is red today. <laughs> I really hope this is not the avocado one again. Please don't be. What are you? Okay. <gasps> Mini cherries. Okay, we're not getting a double. Thank the gods. We have miniature cherry bottle. That is really cute. Very excited to open these. Cute. And this here does say spread, but we're not sure what kind of spread just yet. So we'll get there when we get there. Made fresh, let's check this one. What do we get? Oh my God, we get a pie crust. It says sun-baked sweet pie crust. And it's really tiny here, but it says award-winning bakery. Let's turn it around. And the shading on this is really cute. Looks like we're getting the top and bottom, but we're gonna open everything after. Next, this is the bowl, I believe. Yes, so we have a tin looking dish. This here is the tweezer so that we can handle the resin items before. Voila, is that it? Yeah, okay, we only get three ingredients. Interesting. We're supposed to make a pie with that? Let's check out the guide and see which recipe we're supposed to be making. Something with cherries, so it's definitely not a cake. It should be a tart, right? Okay, it says cherry pie. Okay, let's pull this out. I don't think you're supposed to, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And according to the instructions, I'm confused. <laughs> They confuse me. I think we get the pie tin. We put the crust in the tin and then we put the filling at the bottom and then we put the cherries on top and then we put it in the sun for five to 10 minutes, which means since we have a UV light, it'll just be like one to two minutes and then we put the top. Okay, and it should look something like this. All right, so here's our pie crust. Let's open you. Oh, this feels nice. This actually has a nice soft texture to it. Look at that. And even the crust has little indents and it has little pie crust textures and the shading on top looks like it's actually baked. What the shrimp? That is cute. So step one is we take this and we put that one right here. But let's take a look at our cherries first. So it says 100% happy. I really like the sound. Let's open it and take a look at them little cherries. Wow, they really do give us quite a bit. I don't know if we're gonna use all of them, but we might as well try. Get back in there. No, no, no. Don't lose them. There. And let's see what's under this label over here. I think it's gonna be the same thing. Yeah, squirrel approved. So it kind of looks like peanut butter, but I know it's not peanut butter. It's gonna be cherry, right? Right? All right. All right, let's open you. And yeah, we're gonna have to open you. Yeah, you can't open it this way. You need a knife. And the label does say total happy, 100%, vitamin fun, 100%, and sun smiles, 100%. And you also might be wondering, Jenky, does it smell like cherries? No. <coughs> it smells like resin. Do not sniff resin, it is gross. Is there scented resin? Yes. Should they make it? No, because you still should not be sniffing resin. And I feel like we could probably still use this here, kind of like as a, case, but okay. Now it does say to put the sauce first, but it doesn't tell us to put sauce on top of the cherries, which I'm very tempted to do, but first things first, let's put a layer at the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and put some of that sauce. Is it going to be liquidy? Do I need to fish you out? Oh, wow, that is a nice color. Let's drag you, like so. I don't know how much is too much. Instructions unclear. Okay, let's go ahead and put that stuff all the way around. Very nice. That is a nice color. I don't think that's enough. Let's make sure we get the edges so that they do stick to each other. Kind of like a saw. You know what's missing? Actually, you know what? It's not missing. I was going to say we're missing a mat, but we have enough pamphlets to leave our spoon on there for a bit. And now for the cherries. I definitely think they gave us a lot of cherries, so I don't think we need all of them, but we're going to put as many as we can. I don't know. How much is too much? I'm the kind of person who doesn't know when to stop, so that doesn't help. And we're going to spread you like a so. I feel like one layer is enough. But you know what? Let's put the pie crust on top. If we have a lot of space, which we do. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of space. Let's go ahead and put more. Let's put more like us all. Give it a nice second layer. When do I stop? When is enough? Okay, you know what? That's the whole thing. Pie crust? Yeah, okay. And let's put the remainder of the sauce. Otherwise it has nothing to stick to. So let's 
scoop that stuff in there. My fingers are cramping. There you go, very nice. Yes, let's get that stuff everywhere. There we go. We probably should have put it all at the bottom, but you know what? We need it to be a little juicy, which is probably not a good way to describe a pie. But here you go, very nice. And maybe a little around the edges so that the pie crust can have something to stick to. I have to say this does look pretty good. And now we're going to take our UV light, put it right on top, and we're gonna shine the light like this for about one to two minutes. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that is nice and shiny. You shouldn't touch it with your hand, you should be touching it with the back part of your tweezers to make sure that it has hardened, and yes, it did. Look at that. I love the fact that the cherries even have the tiny indents on top of them. Yeah, this feels good. And now we can put the pie crust on top. Part of me was like, maybe I should glue the pie crust, but the other part of me is like, maybe sometimes you just want to open it up and take a peek and look at it. So you don't necessarily have to glue it on top. So I think it's fine, even though it does look pretty cool from the top, just like this. And since everything is pretty white, let's get our display felt over here. The little napkin thing right there and our pie. This is basically the display case and it doesn't seem to want to fit in here for some weird reason. It's so weird. It's like, it's crooked. But this is basically what it's supposed to look like. Hang on, hang on, everything's crooked. Everything's crooked, it bothers me. It don't work. So we're just gonna do this and that. That was an easy craft, <laughs> but for some reason I made it into a struggle. I definitely think it's cute. I wish they gave a little bit more elements to decorate with, especially if you try to put the jars, they actually don't fit under the dome. I'll show you right here. So it's kind of unfortunate in my opinion. Next. Oh, that sounded different. Oh no. We have sunny side up, please. Please don't be the avocado toast again. Mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, let's go ahead, put our stand together. Do you actually fit this time? And the answer is no. Hello? Nope. So we do get a little mat to put our creation on. So it's different from the previous one. So hopefully it's really not a double. We have one, two, three, four, five baggies. You know what? Let's start with the salmon peachy one. And you are, where are you? Bananas! No, little bananas. Happy Sun Farms and tiny banana slices. I will take that. That is good news for us. Next item here. I'm guessing this is, okay, we have another spread. Again, they all look like peanut butter spread. Actually, maybe this is peanut butter. Peanut butter and banana do go well together. But basically all the spreads look the same and they say squirrel approved. Let's pull that up. Yeah, they're all the same jars. Next item, what do we have here? It is toast. What? Wait, I didn't see another toast. Okay, so we do have another sandwich that we're going to be able to make. Maybe it is peanut butter and bananas. Okay. And this must be the bowl or container. Indeed, it is the container, the plate that we're going to be using. And this is likely the knife. Yeah, it does show knife on there and spoon. So it could be either or, and it's likely a tiny knife. Okay, so here are the uh, shopping items on the inside. Let's see what we're actually supposed to make. Huh, look at that. So it looks like we're making a banana toast, but it looks more like a chocolate spread. So maybe a little bit like a Nutella. Cute, 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 cute. And they did mess up some of the knife over here and we have a couple of slices of bananas. I like that, let's do that. And for the toast, what it says on the label is toastiness 100, fun buns 100%, and total happy 100%. The packaging is way too cute and I always feel bad opening them and ruining them, but you know what? Things are meant to be used so we might as well. Okay, got you. We actually have to open this, which I feel really bad doing because I wish I could just open the top. Can I? Can I? Wait a minute. I can, I think. Get you out. Yes! <gasps> yes! All right, so our little toasts, they go over here. And I took the liberty of already opening our spread. So let's take a look what the chocolate spread looks like. I really hope it's better than the avocado one because that was a little too translucent. Where's my spoon? Where's my tiny spoon? I mean knife. There it is. And it really smells bad. Resin does smell bad. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. And what do you look like? Uh, it looks more like caramel than chocolate, to be very honest. So it definitely needs more pigment. It's just not brown enough. But it is quite thick, so let's go ahead and grab as much as we can. Yeah, that, that definitely do be thick. And let's spread it on this toast first. Very nice. 
Yeah, definitely way too caramel y. Very disappointing, actually. Because if we look at the picture, they definitely purposefully made it to look really chocolatey, which isn't the case. Even if you look at the knife, very chocolatey. So they need to work on something here because they're making their spreads way too light. I know it's because it's UV resin and you want the light to go through, but there's ways to go about it. Just say it. This, this ain't chocolate, it's caramel. And I don't think it's going to get darker once we harden it, but let's find out. So we're gonna spread it on there real thick. She's gonna be thick, voila. And now we have our bananas. Where are you? There we go, bananas. Oh my God. Bananas are probably one of my favorite fruits out there and oranges, probably my top two. Let me know in the comment section below what are your favorite two kinds of fruits. Can't do berries, they're just inconsistent in their flavors. I don't like inconsistencies. They're so tiny. Look at that. All right, let's put the bananas here. I know you should be using the tweezers, but I have no control. My sausage fingers work best without that. Here, I think they should be a little bit more random. So we're gonna do random bananas, like so. There we go. And our second toast. Let's get you nice and thick over here. And the second half right there. Voila. I have to say I'm still very low-key disappointed that we don't have chocolate chocolate, but what you gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit more on the edge here just so that they hold on to each other like this. Let's push you a little further back. Nice. And because we want it to stick, I'm just gonna put a little bit here and we're gonna put this here. A couple of bananas like a so. And then more bananas on here like a so and maybe like a so. I don't want them to be even because I don't know about you, but I don't make my sandwiches even, okay? I like asymmetry on everything I do. Let's get the toasts, actually. Let's get this a little dirty. Kind of want the toasts to be sticking to each other and a little bit to the board. I don't know if that's going to work. There. Now that's a messy plate. I like that. Time for our trusty light. And there it goes. And here is our caramel and banana sandwich. I'm not calling it chocolate. Mm -mm. It, it, it ain't chocolate to me. And I love the fact that I went with a little bit of a messy plate this time because, hey, what plate is clean? Okay, I know if I make extra banana cuts and there's extra chocolate or caramel, I want some of the bananas and dip them in there. Mm -mm. Like that. Just say. Our. Ow. <laughs> fourth mystery box that really almost hit me in the head here's hoping we don't get a double and i really hope it's at least a cake this time maybe a cheesecake i don't know i would like that All right, let's go ahead and put our tray together. Now I'm curious if it's actually going to work this time. And the answer is no. I'm definitely not doing something wrong, 100%. If anyone had experience with this, let me know if it's worked for you every time. They just don't seem to fit. Okay, so here's what we have. Do we have an indication of any mats? Okay, here it is. So it looks like it's going to be a tart or something of that kind. Oh gosh, which one do I open first? I definitely feel like this is a tart base. So let's go with this one. It's a little bit more round, so it could be the spread. Yeah, so this one's the spread. Wait, is that lime? I think that's lime. Are we doing a key lime pie? What are you? This is, okay, so this is the tin for the tart. And this one, what are you? We did not get, was that whipped cream? No, oh my God, no. So we have a sunny whipped cream. That is, that is adorable, 100% good stuff. What does the label say? 100% fluffiness and total fun, 100%. Very cute, oh my God. We have little puff creams. No, oh my God. Okay, get back in there. Get back in there. I wasn't sure what I was expecting. I thought this was the resin, but it's not. This is the decoration. Okay, what is this one? You are, what are you? Oh, the lime pieces. Oh, these are really good. Like really well done. Look at that. Even a little translucenty. And this must be our pie base. Yes, yes. Wait, where's the resin? Oh yes, okay, the resin is this one. And of course, in all of them, we keep getting the tweezers. And this is all the stuff we have you said nothing. As I was saying, these are the items for the project that we're working on right now. As you can see, the pie crust doesn't have a top. So this is gonna be fun. Voila. And here's what it's supposed to look like. Let's get a closer zoom on that. And it looks like we put the filling at the bottom and then we start decorating like a so. Okay, this is gonna require a little bit more finesse than I actually have. And this is the list of ingredients. So let's go ahead and see the instructions. So it says to put the filling at the bottom and then decorate and then put it to harden. Okay, I think I got this. Let's get our pie crusts opened. And it's basically the same thing like the other one. It's a nice soft crust 
crust with a lot of texture. I like that. And we can drop it in here, but not yet. I feel like this moves a little too much. So we're just going to keep it on a stable surface. So from what I've learned is that the entire container should just go on the inside. And I don't know how thick it is. Let's see if that works. We do have our tiny spoon. Do I need to fish you out or will you fall out? Oh, wow. That is creamy. That is a nice color. But uh, are you gonna come out? Yeah, slowly but surely it is making its way. Time goes by so slowly. Time goes by so slowly. There you go. We're getting somewhere. There we go. Let's help it a little bit. Make sure all of that creamy, lemony goodness comes right out. It's making me want key lime pie. And no, I will not sniff this. All right, so let's put our whipped cream pieces over here, just so at least they're easier to access. I'm seriously in love with this little canister. We might actually need the tweezers, so let's just put them all in the right direction, like so. And according to the picture, we only need five lim lime, lime, lime slices. Why can't I say it right? I'm gonna put the limes right here. There you go. You know what, let's just put them all here and see what happens. So we're gonna try and make it as close as possible to the actual picture. So let's go ahead and take a whipped cream. I don't know if they're gonna sink, but here, please don't sink. Please don't sink. And then this one right here. Oh no, don't sink. Please don't sink. No, no, no. It's on purpose. Totally doing it on purpose. <laughs> Why are you making me struggle? No. Okay, you know what? Let's just lose that one. Let's just cover it. Let's just cover that one. Nobody saw anything. Tweezers are not doing it for me. I'm going in manual. All right, we're gonna put you here. Like a so. Another cream. I think maybe the base is too thick, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. No, nor here, nor there at this time. There you go. Another cream. There we go. Another lime. Nope, that is not, that is not it. We're gonna take sharp pointy things. This is hard. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh boy. I think, I think the base is too thick. Let's turn you around. Is that even possible? Okay, I think the base of the cream is too thick. So everything just wants to sink in there. You know what? Let's just lose it in there. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need. We need a layer of limes underneath. All right, lime, you stay here. See, it works better when we have a lime that we can sacrifice. Yeah, that is not working out. So let's just put a lime here. Push you down. Let's hide you. <laughs> Don't follow my instructions. This is not, this is me completely making things up. And then we can put another lime. But now we don't have, hang on, let's try and push things a little bit. Another whipped cream. Do we have more limes? Yes. And the lime and the whipped cream right in the middle. Just spot on. Okay, let's, let's get the UV light going because this is getting a little too risque for me. All right, let's harden them up. And here it is looking absolutely adorable. I think we absolutely also needed to sacrifice some limes. It's not me. I don't make the rules. I just saw an opportunity and I took it. And here are the projects that we did today. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section below. If you want to watch the previous episode, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch another video, definitely check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.